Well, keeping an eye on your health this morning, a South Florida hospital is among the first to perform a first of its kind surgery, transforming the future of pacemakers. Our Stephanie Valderrama joins us live now. She got an exclusive interview with the doctor who performed the surgery earlier this month. Steph, good morning. Yes, good morning, Matt and Sam. So prior to this new technology being approved by the FDA last year, this wire that I'm holding right here would be surgically inserted into the chambers of the heart to generate pulses. Now, I want you to take a look at your screen right now. This is actually what that new technology looks like. As you can see here, there is no longer a wire. Unlike the previous technology, this pacemaker communicates through the bloodstream. Now, as you mentioned, I spoke with Dr. Mark Freyer at Delray Medical Center. He actually inserted this device into the first patient to receive it here in Palm Beach County. So this picture right now that you're seeing is an actual picture of the pacemaker he surgically installed into the patient's heart. Dr. Freyer says during the minimal invasive surgery, they actually insert the leadless pacemaker through the groin and then screw it into each chamber of the heart. He says because it's a less invasive surgery, there is also less recovery time so people can just get back to living their lives within hours. So the biggest people who can benefit are people who've had infections or people who are at risk for infections, um, diabetics who have vascular issues who have to save their veins for other access procedures, cancer patients who've had ports, and people who have difficulty with the tricuspid valve and congestive heart failure. Well, according to Dr. Freyer, he says a lot of people might actually prefer this new pacemaker for cosmetic purposes. It's not above the screen, or the skin, and there's also no scarring. Now, according to Cleveland Clinic, the traditional pacemakers, they can last anywhere from 10 to 15 years. But this new pacemaker, the battery is good for 7 to 10 years. But, of course, doctors will be continually uh, making sure that people are coming for their routine exams to keep an eye on this uh, new device but here it is right here. Matt, Sam, back to you. Hi, I'm Matt Lincoln for CBS 12 News. Click the like and subscribe buttons if you want to see more stories like this that impact you.